so there's a nine and a half watt Cree bulb. Yeah, I might try running this and see what kind of temperature we get on that bulb in the enclosure. Yeah, just as a third option, this pretty common bulb, and maybe it uh, works out okay. This, so we'll give this a shot, run it for a half an hour plus, and see how hot it gets. Okay, so this is the 9.5 watt Cree bulb. It's about 106, and it's been about 25 minutes. Actually, this one's getting pretty hot. The heat gun measures over 120 right there, so... I was going to pop the cover off and check the bulb temperature itself. Wow, that one gets pretty hot right there. It's almost 100, 100 C right there on the heat sink. The bulb itself is okay, but right in there... Yeah, I don't think this bulb likes being in here. Okay YouTube, I've been looking at this uh, Cree bulb here. I'll just turn it off and see if we can get a uh, temperature here. And let's see, we're up on the uh, heat sink there. I saw some like an 85, 86, 87, 88. It's just one hot running bulb. You can see where I'm right on the heat sink there. there are those fins, and it's definitely a hot bulb. That's hotter than the uh, Phillips bulb or the Hero LED. I don't think that is suitable for use in an exhaust fan. Yeah, I think that's the end of my heat testing. Looks like we've got. Uh, fair bit of data there. Yeah, I think this, this one definitely comes in at the uh, coolest. And then the Phillips bulb is is a good uh, second. It, it's a little bit hotter. It runs hotter even out in the air. I think that Cree bulb is a little too hot to run. Maybe get some light measurements and see if I can figure out something to measure the color rendition and whatnot because this is supposed to be a pretty high I think a 92 CRI this is an 80 I don't know what the uh, Cree bulb is but I think it runs too hot to uh, use in here if you have any comments or questions or suggestions on bulbs to try put that in the comments section below and as always thanks for watching